Hello. So, um, how's everybody doing? Um, anyway, so today I want to talk about, I've been in conversation, you know, how you're, you know, working and you're, uh, um, when I'm in a relationship, you know, and this anointing he's giving me, he's always like speaking to me, you know? And so, and just recently, like I said, I started this page because it's been becoming a lot, you know? And so, and this is a, a, about this relationship with Jesus Christ and just helping others through what he's been teaching me to help others and, and their relationship with the Lord. Um, and so through everything I've been through, that's what I want to talk about, um, about this relationship and just this process and, um, um, so we just thank you, Lord, right now that all the stuff that has been going in my head, that you would speak the stuff that you would want, um, that you would uh, speak through me and that you would, um, yeah, bless those with this word that are truly, um, in this relationship and want change in the relationship and want the blessings that we weep from this Lord, like you've allowed me to be obedient in this walk that you called me to so I can uh, physically and do the work and so that I could help produce to others in their relationship and their walk and give them this information that um, could change their life and bless them in such a beautiful ways, Lord. So we just thank you right now. In Jesus name I pray. Amen. So I was just reminiscing all day you know i did the cu game but anyways it just you know this is how god teaches me like he just we're just talking back and forth you know what i mean like it's information you know and and so anyways so i just wanted to talk about you know i i, I went on this journey and with god and i signed up and, and is it a heaven right god prepares um your path and your purpose and he sees everything played out from every person that's going to come in your life to every person that's going to do evil to your life that's uh you know for the trials the tribulations the enemy who he uses and stuff like that okay and so and then before he sends us down okay as i said there's a whole life up there that god is working you know what i mean like it's amazing and all the people and and then he fulfills it, you know, and bursts it and sends us down the seed, you know, through your mother's womb, okay? And he sees everything, okay? And so this journey that I've he's called me to do was him, no longer I, but Christ who lives in me. He's prepared the whole thing, then sends me down to fulfill it. So I'm walking this journey, and so I'm just walking, right? This whole thing, which he's already prepared, and it, it, that's why it's like, um, you know, um, you know, we're like sitting here, oh, is God going to do this? Is God going to do that? You know what I mean? Like, and so anyways, but he's already prepared everything. Okay. And so as we're walking in this relationship, you know, and I came to, to, you know, walking in my, per, you know, all the things that happened to me and stuff like that, um, all that stuff is producing, okay. Producing information because I'm going through that. Yes, it was painful. A lot of stuff that I endured in my life. Okay. And then he, how he led me to him in this relationship. Okay. And this is normally what happens when we're not serving God, even all the bad stuff, right? Something spiritual will lead these people, even if they don't love Christ. Okay. Because of the, all the damage, all the stuff that they're going through, right? So now that's awaken the spirit. Like, I need something more in this world, right? I need, you know, that's where the spirituality comes into people. You know what I mean? Like I was an atheist I, and now I'm a believer because I went through all this. And there's just something that was drawing me to, right? Because he sees the will and who, who whose hearts are going to turn to God. And, you know, and who's just fed up or, you know, this pain that we endure, right? In our life turns us from God, whether, you know, um, we go through something as, uh, you know, a lot of us in our childhood, we do, we, that's where we get all the trauma, which is going to enter into our adulthood. Okay. And so that's where we're going into these adults and we're having, you know, these unhealthy things in our life happen. And because of the stuff, you know, you can feel like you lived in a normal, you know, life, it good, happy and stuff like that. And, um, still have all these issues, you know what I mean? And so, anyways, so this relationship, you know, it takes us um, through this good and the bad, right? And so, specifically, he's been pointing out, talking about those that come against, okay, we turn, you know, some something in a, happens in our point of life where we turn against God, okay? And I want to talk about the, the enemy, you know, and this, because we fight against spirits and principalities that latch onto people, okay? And, and it's most likely because you know, something happened in their life. And so say something happens to somebody and they lose their spouse. Okay. Just, I'm going to use this example. This is, he was giving me a head earlier. And, um, 
they, they pass away, right? And so there's bitterness and pain, and and then that could turn God, you know, this, if you don't have this relationship and connection from you, got from God. So then, you know, now that started going down to feeding a seed, like you know, of religion. You know, just you're just still serving church. You know what I mean, like. But your heart is bitter, you're hurt, you're, you know, and you're mad at God. Like, why did you take this person from, or, or, you know, whatever's going on in your mind and stuff like that towards him. Anyways, then that could lead to someone else, right? Now you're in church, right? And this person, and you know these people, and, um, and you, right? This person sees this beautiful marriage uh, story unfold. The enemy is lying on this person. Now, like, that person's pain, okay, that they endured from that, right? now could come out into somebody else and try to, the enemy use that to attack someone else's blessings. You know what I mean? So now this person's bitter, right? No, this person doesn't deserve that. If, if you took this from me, you know what I mean? This person, this is the enemy's, okay? The way he thinks, the way he works, you know what I mean? And you don't even know it, right? But this is what the enemy is going on. You're, you know, now you allow the, that seed to open up and how long years you turn your heart from God, right? And now you're just doing the works, you know, and it's like religious, you know, and you, you're going to church, you're, start, you're doing this, but your heart is nowhere near God, you know? And because of that falling away and, um, and that trauma, you know, that you've been through, right? So now that could lead into somebody else as you're going in there and you see this beautiful blessing and you some, something s triggers you and that jealousy and envy spirit that comes on you could actually go into someone else now, like, and try to tear up and not even know it, someone else's, you know, marriage or what God is doing in their life, you know what I mean? Like, and so, um, anyway, so God, I just was sitting here talking and how, you know, I going through my walk with the Lord and how, you know, this is where he's prepared. You know, you could tell he's prepared someone for this calling because you, you see their whole life. And this is what the cross is demands to transformation. So as I, and this is what he's using me for, right? To show not just me, but everybody comes in my life and stuff like that, where I started from. And he'll do this. He'll take this is what he takes and somebody that the world throws away, right? And he'll transform them right in front of everybody. Okay. Right in front of this world or whatever. And, and this person goes from this, right? And through this relationship, that's why he's, he's doing it through me, okay? So that people could see I came from this. And now I keep going glory to glory to glory. I keep elevating, right? And this relationship, and I keep changing. And once with this person, right? And maybe I desired this person once in my life or this in my life. Um, and now I changed and healed, you know, these wounds, right? As we're in this relationship. And, and this journey is meant for you, okay? Not for another person, not anything. You can you were birthed alone, you're gonna leave this world alone, okay? This is what attended, this relationship was intended for. It's for you and Jesus to walk in this together and to build this closeness, okay? I went for the spirit and and bonding and you becoming whole with Christ, okay? So all those holes that we endured as a child, the enemy used it to attack us, you know what I mean? Because those are generational things. So the enemy keeps having his way, right? But this is where he come in. And for me, and I had to change the past and stuff that happened in my life, you know, and he chose me and just to start to break this generation things and to pave a new way, okay? Um, anyways, and so you have a trauma, you have all these holes. Now you're turning to drugs and alcohol and sex and on um uh talk to relationships or maybe you're in marriage and you're you're you have all these wounds, right? And you just keep, they keep pouring out into your spouse or, you know what I mean? Like, and you, this is where the work comes in, where we as individuals, uh, and this is what he's telling me to share how I'm, I'm doing it differently now. So I'm going into the shape and healing all these wounds before I even enter into my marriage, right? Because he's teaching me who I am in Christ. Okay. Because that's my journey is my journey alone. Okay. And he, yes, he doesn't, he makes, uh, he does not want man to be alone. And so that person's doing their work, and this is where you pray for the person that is intended that they're doing the same thing, okay? And they're, you know, God is actively, he knows, you know, and um, and they're doing the healing work as well, okay? And so we are healing these wounds in our own journey. This is about us, okay? It has nothing to do about the person that's going to come in our life. He doesn't want, or if you do want someone in your life, you know, whatever God's prepared for you, you know what I mean? Like, um in your calling and your purpose, that's supposed to be eventually to, co to come together and you guys finish and even, and you're already like those wounds you're, you have in your heart. Okay. From the stuff that you endured as a child. Okay. So many different wounds. You, you put the shoe where it fits. Okay. You're filling this in this relationship. You're filling with Jesus. Okay. And you're walking this journey and there's no time limit. That's when we, the enemy wants to see you're running short. You're for you, this, you're that or whatever to kids or whatever it is. And you're going on. 
I'm unsure. I need to get this career. I need to do this. And this, you know, I need to do this, right? That's where you come in. You're taking your hands off of your relationship with the God and you're going your own way. You know what I mean? And versus me, where he's taught me how to, you know, break all these cycles of trying to go do my own thing or whatever. And, and, and to really allow this relationship to flourish and naturally grow so people I could show and teach people others. You know what I mean? Like, and what a real relationship with the Lord looks like, what healing looks like and what it, it looks like to be whole in Christ. Okay. And what it produces, you know what I mean? And, and as you're going in this relationship, you're activating your spirit, right? And I've talked to a lot of people that were just going, doing the works and they're like, and, I, and then I come along the path, Christ that lives in me. Right. And I'm sharing I'm all about this passion and fire. And they're just like, wow. And that is intended for you as well. Is 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 just opening, waking your your spirit up, coming into you know Christ and saying, "Hey, I want more in my life." You know, anyways, and so, and just allowing to enter this relationship and repentance, a deep heart, and ready to actually do the work, which where you're actually allowing God to speak to you on the pain that you've endured in your life, the things that you know you talk about with the Lord that are maybe holes in your heart that may be pouring out into other people, okay? And that pain, you know, being able to say, hey, you know, I do this to people and this is not okay. And God, Lord, how do I deal with this? You know, and this is, oh, I'm going to and this is where the, the pain and then the work comes in because you have to sit alone with God. You have to cry. You have to receive what he's trying to tell you, you know. And he does it in a loving way like this is, you know, what happened to you in your life, okay. And he'll teach you, you know, um, this person did this, you know what I mean. He'll teach you, okay. And he'll be able to heal that wound in your heart, you know what I mean. And and, and you won't be able to, ha to, you won't want to turn as he heals these little wounds, okay. And he's making you whole in him. Your spirit is activating, okay. And it's coming alive right because those holes are being those voids are being filled with with him and his love for you and um anyways and so and you're becoming you're changing right that's what the cross is you're changing in this relationship and you're being transformed you once did this now you don't want to do drugs now because that hole's been voided whatever it was that god was showing you and you're doing the work and acknowledging it and whatever the obedience he's asking you to do if he's telling you to do this or do that and you're doing it right and you're getting these holes are, are slowly filling up you know what i mean and there's no time on your relationship and your journey god has everything planned out okay it's just you being able to do the work and understanding what god is telling you you. and then as you understand you heal that wound right he's moving on to the next one okay and like it's like layers you know what i mean and and so you're walking in this right um and you're healing and then th this is where the transformations come inside you now you're just like whoa whoa what's going on you know just you just feel whole you feel alive you feel just so you know, happy and you just want to pour into others as you, you're getting these wounds filled, right? And you're discovering your purpose. You know what I mean? You're God sharing with you your your true identity and, and it's not in this drugs. It's not in this alcohol. It's not whatever that person spoke over to you as a child or maybe you're an abusive like you know, there's so much things to talk about, like, you know, uh, friends uh, that, uh, you know, uh, 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 say you're the kids are in foster care. You know, I have a friend that takes care of, um, you know, foster children. Like, and I have a word uh, if you're watching this jazz for you, but like, you know, being her being of the to her her spouse and her journey. You know what I mean? Um, uh, maybe she has stuff that she's still working on. She's married, but she's still having stuff in her relationship. You know, in her heart, you know, that she works on with her, her relationship. So e even her marriage will even be better. You know what I mean? And his marriage, you know what I mean? I'm not saying they have anything, you know. But I'm just using that, you guys as an example. But anyway, so uh, these wounds, right, in this relationship, right? So now this is where the enemy comes in. Those that have done evil in your life. So there's a lot of people that have done evil in my life, okay? And I know that, you know what I mean? But see, this is where it comes in for them as well, okay? This is for everybody, okay? And if you've ever done anything wrong or evil tent, you know, God loves, you know, Loves everybody, okay? It's just the fact that when you ignore that, what God is telling you, that now you come in, in alignment with the, the enemy and, and what he's spoken and what you keep feeding into, right? So now you're, do, you're doing cruel stuff, okay? And that's not from God. So now these, these people that have done cruel stuff and they're fed in it for so long and they feel like there's no way out, this is where their heart has to be repentance, okay? And they have to really cry out to God and say, and acknowledge that I did this wrong, Lord. Please forgive me. And then that's where the work starts for them, okay? And then they have to be obedient and say, hey, I need you to apologize to this person. I need you to admit that to, you know, to the person. You're being honest. See, that's where the light's going to start shining in your life, okay? And, uh, and for the, these people that are doing wicked out there, okay? And, and then there's a whole 
point is because of their, their child, the trauma, you know, and the rejection that, you know, happened in their life and where the point where they, uh, they could have turned that the point in their life where they turned from God and their hearts from God. And that's where religion comes in because their hearts turn from God, but they're still doing the works. You know what I mean? We're still going to church. We're still doing the chair. And it gets into a routine. And that's what I call it. I have a relationship. I don't have a routine. You know what I mean? I have a relationship. You know what I mean? And so I, when I have wounds, I deal with it right then in my relationship. I lash out. I do whatever I got. I talk to God. You know what I mean? Like, but he, and, and then he speaks to me, heals those wounds. Okay. And so anyways, I just wanted to share that, you know, this relationship is, uh, and as the cross, you know, it demands change. And as we are aligning with God and, and we're in repentance, you know, and we do want to accept that, you know what I mean? This is the difference where you don't want to be obedient to God and you're going to continue allowing the enemy to use you and to do this evil to people because you're not dealing with the trauma in your own life. And a lot of these people, leaders in churches, okay, they're not dealing with it. They're just so used to the routine. I mean, they've been there 20 years and there's just... You know, okay, I'm going to go to here, I'm going to do here, I'm going to do this, I'm going to pray this. But inside of doing, their hearts are turned from God. And they're literally doing wicked. God sees every intent, every decision you make, or every you, they're, they're trying to help people, but they're doing evil behind the scenes in the heart. You know what I mean? Like, and, um, and this is where it's so important that we have to, you know, and as my walk, as so many people, you know, in my walk and and sharing the love of Christ and, and and what that looks like of picking up the cross and keep going and as these en enemies hit me hard I had to walk through this okay so I could share with that with others okay and those moments where he'll, he'll sit there like in, in those moments I had I had right here like this is the moment where someone would turn on me okay and he would tell me this you know this is the moment right here Naomi that you've been through that people would turn right now on me and Oh, because of the pain and they couldn't take it and what the enemy did and, and the spirit, you know, and because these are the attacks on the enemy to stop your purpose. OK, and this is where I had to overcome these per these pain. OK, and so anyways, and then I overcame it and I'm just like, wow. And this is where the compassion continues as you keep doing this work and then the fire for your relationship is going to keep going. And you're going to be so healed and, and your things, oh, I feel the spirit right now. You're going to be so alive in your relationship and your marriage and, you know, uh, uh, and those that are like me that he's called to break all these generational things and pave the different way going forward into leading all these people and this, and being a disciple, you know, I was called to, to be a lead disciple. I was because he's, he, it, it, for my purpose to train people and to go into this world. Okay. And to lead these people. That's what, just like Jesus, you know, and as we do this relationship and do the work, you're going to be activated. So you, wherever he's placed you, you're going to be able to go into this world out of the building and be able to be that disciple. Okay. That God has called you to be okay. And to lead people, more people. Right. And so that pain produces purpose. Okay. And it's like, God allows, it because it's he knows the fire he's gonna you're gonna get from it. he knows he's gonna heal you from it okay and and he's gonna protect you right but it's gonna produce that purpose in your life it's you, you, as you do the healing work you're gonna produce and produce and produce and produce to the point where you are just so healed and those wounds are so healed now you're able to go to cross those people that used to trigger you and actually see them the way christ sees them you're gonna see their pain they're gonna see that evil they're doing to you and you're gonna be, feel really sad you know what i mean for them and their wounds and want to help them you know what i mean like and then you no longer see them as like even if they do something wicked to you you know what i mean but this this is where that relationship comes in so you can see that. You know what I'm saying? If you have a real relationship like I've been doing, you're going to be able to love like Christ. And you're going to see these people as that they just need love. They need really help. First, they have to have the sacrifice. You can't be, you know, God wants to keep you safe as well until they are in obedience with God and they repent. And they, you know, and then that's where it comes in where your relationship is like, okay, these people are really hurting. And now I can take a step and, you know, um, whether it's like doing these videos or, you know, uh, and, and sharing my heart with them and, hey, Hey, this is what hurt me, you know what I mean? And, and sharing this, you know, with them and, and so they could and forgiving them and let them know that I forgive you, you know what I mean? Because that's what the God died for, you know what I mean? As we are healing and we make these mistakes and our, our own wounds and our own lives, you know what I mean? And we as, as God turns these people in their hearts, you know, they're gonna have to do the work. Now they're gonna have to go and apologize to your people, whether it's family members, friends, or whatever, right? And you're gonna have to turn. And start doing the work, which is apologizing so you can heal those wounds inside of you, right? And that's where you 
you come in and the relationship and all these people that did come in against you, okay, and that's where you're doing this work, right? So now you can see them and her humble hearts and 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 to forget that doesn't mean they're gonna be part of your journey, you're gonna, you know, or whatever, continue for it. But these people need to start their own journey as well. You know what I mean? And they need to start their own healing journey so they could come alive in Christ. And even them, as they do the work, they could help so many other people not to go and do what they did. You know what I'm saying? It's the purpose for everything, okay? And even these people that do do wicked and intent see this is what he's talking about he's giving me the heart of christ okay because this is what he's shown me to help others you know what i mean to really help others so we bring in people together and we're fighting the enemy off our lives together okay and be able to to have this relationship this is a real relationship it's not a just i read the bible anymore you guys i don't even the word the word the scripture has been written on my heart that's the intent i live that bible okay i just randomly peek well, scriptures will pop out of my head because it is Christ that lives in me. And when you Christ lives in you, he knows his own word. He knows that word. He lives that word. Okay? And our lives align with it. Our whole lives, my whole life aligns to my purpose. You know what I mean? The destruction uh, and then enemy coming against me and rejection. Even my love story that God has for me is, is part of my whole um it's part of my whole story of the love of Christ and being rejected. You know what I mean? And and being able to still get up like that. We're called to be like Christ, right? So, uh, and as you activate, you're going to become like Christ, okay? And we're called to keep picking up the cross. What does that cross look like? When the enemy tries to throw a blow at you, you, you do your healing work with God. You go in that relationship and you keep getting up, okay? And you don't turn from God. You keep getting up and you're doing the work, okay? And you then as you're doing the work and you're being obedient, you're leveling up. Your knowledge, your wisdom, your spirit. He's, he promised to open the floodgates in your life as you do this, okay? As you do the work. As you're being obedient. He sees your heart. You know what I mean? This is where the blessings come in. You know what I mean? But like I said, it says he turned his face when you when these people continue doing evil, whether they're religious people, people going, you know, when you're religious or whatever, you go in the church, your heart's from God, what, who, or people in sinful in the world or anything like that, you know, this is where we have to come in in a relationship and do the work and do the healing power so you can reap the rewards from it. I'm reaping the rewards. I'm reaping the wisdom. I'm reaping the knowledge and all the stuff that he's he's promised me. This is my promise, okay, as I do the work. Uh, he's going to pour into me so I can pour into others, you know what I mean? And, and this is my ministry, you know what I mean? Like, this is real ministry. And I, I practice what I preach. I go out there and do the work, okay, as a disciple. And then I come teach you on it. The Lord will speak to me like, oh, I went through this and, and I talked to these people today and then, and then they shared this, right? And then I'm going through it and I'm walking with these people alongside them. And then I'm, I'm in, and God's feeding me. Right. And then I'm able to speak through that to others and, and show that scripture what it is. You know what I mean? Cause I'm actually doing the work. I'm not just going to look at the work and then go in front of a church and just try to give a word to everybody. I'm actually being a disciple and doing the work and going out there hands on in the trash and everywhere. And, and God sees that he sees my heart and the, the willingness of that's called laying your life down for Christ. It's he's leading me in my life. Right. And I'm being obedient as a disciple. And I'm preparing parables. I'm changing people's lives at this job at this other job. I work at the CU game today. Right. So I just, I talked to a lot of people about uh, Christ today. And then I, I went to, I'm working Monday through Friday at another job right now. And God's leading me to talking to all of them. You know what I mean? There's so many people, that, that, you know, this other new guy that came for one day. And he was like, I'm going through this. You know, it's so funny how you're speaking about this. You know what I mean? And it's, remember, Christ is, is living in me. And my spirit is growing. So all this stuff is coming out. And it's like, right? The information keeps growing because I'm keeping obedient, right? And so, uh, and as a spiritual leader, and... And, and then this person is just like, oh, I was just going through that. It's so funny that you said that. See? But I don't know that person. It's Christ's spirit inside me. They recognize his spirit, right? And so, and I started talking about this. And he was like, because Christ knows. He leads you to the people. All those people in your life, he's already made them prepared to lead you to in your destiny, okay? And so... um everything's for a purpose in your life. Okay. And so get him saying, so he led me to him and spoke into his life. You know what I mean? And it just transformed a lot. You know what I mean? Gave him information, you know what I mean? That he needed to do along his journey and helped him. You know what I mean? And, um, anyways, like I said, I'm very led. I pick up that cross. I've given my life up for him. And that's where, you know, a lot of people understand, you know, but this is my calling. You know what I mean? This is what he's promised me and blessed me with to share with others. You know what I mean? Uh, it looks like to pick up that cross and to give one life up. You know what I mean? Like, I don't have a money through prayer. I, I am led by God and to go into this world and share parables and preach the gospel. And I'm just somebody that he took 
Okay, he prepared this plan for me. He knew all the abuse, all the stuff that's going to happen in my life. Okay, so that produced it. All the stuff produced, look, all this greatness now. All this information, I just keep going. And I just keep getting more and more and more. And it's so exciting to me. You know what I mean? I, uh, Jesus is so fulfilling, you guys. And that's your fulfillment in life. Nobody else and nothing else should be fulfilling those holes. And as you're going through this, you know, journey and taking your time with God as he takes you through this, you're just getting more healed and whole. And all these things are dropping the scales and the lies of the enemy are dropping off of your life. And you're just, oh, I feel the spirit right now. And you are just coming alive in Christ, in your spirit, okay? And so he just wanted me to share this. Um, I don't know how it came out, Lord. I uh, Again, I bless you. Um, versus my head to coming out of my mouth, you know what I mean? But again, it's part of my journey is learning. He's teaching me. I came from this. I didn't even know how to speak. I didn't have none of this information when I first came to the Lord, okay? Okay, and then this is the transformation. This is the testimony of the power of the God working where people could see this person has a relationship with God because there's no way she could have done this on herself and elevated and elevating and the God just elevating her, elevating me, elevating me, elevating me. And it doesn't stop until the day you go home. There's no limit of where you God could take you in your life, okay? And I just keep going and going and going. It's about my journey and people that come and come my life. Even with my wish, I had to go through a part of healing with me where I really wanted to be with a spouse, you know what I mean? Like in this, he taught me, it's, you know, about purpose okay this is about me and god okay and uh how those wounds are yes i do and yes he does have someone to share of this journey okay and his part is gonna align with my information get what i'm saying i'm this whole person healed and doing my journey right and i'm still living on purpose okay that's what you're called to do still live in your purpose right and then when it's time he's gonna introduce you to this person as he's working on them and their purpose and when you come together you, your piece is gonna align with their piece and you're gonna continue doing more purpose and powerful purpose okay you're gonna be like oh i have all this and oh my god he just adds to or she adds to what i have and it's like explosive it's like mind-blowing and you're like i'm just like wow get what i'm saying and it's not like he's trying to fulfill a void in your heart or anything like that it's like he already has all this information right and doing his work and stuff like that and his wish and this is where you pray you're praying for them you know what i mean you always pray if he's called you to that whatever he'll tell you that he does and so um and your heart's desire and stuff like that and now you have you're in a journey right so and then he showed me this and he'll, he'll bring you in that person's path, right, right? Maybe that person, like me, is not, you know, where you're at, right? You meet that person, right? But they're still, they just started, you know what I mean? Their relationship or whatever, or haven't even started yet. And so you come along, he activates that person. It's like, yep, that's the person I want you to, you know, do purpose with, right? And you're already aligned. You're already like, you know, you know, it's just the knowledge and the healing, all this stuff, you know. And where you're at in your relationship and where this person is at if they even started their relationship. Anyways, and so, right? And then you are acting because God joins us, our souls, okay? It's a, a heaven, you know, he joins two people and he sends us down. And we go these journeys, right? And then we along our journey, we meet them. Uh, so he's showing me, okay? He taught me. And so you activate that spirit, right? He's like, okay, this is the one. So now you're in a relationship, right? And so this is what happens as you meet that person. Maybe they're behind you or they're ahead of you, whatever that is, right? But now you're doing the work, right? You're still on your own journey. Whether they're behind you doesn't mean this is your journey, okay? So you got to keep going, okay? But this is what happens. You're right now that person meet you, right? So you're getting whole and healthy. Guess what? This person's, uh-oh, their soul's attached, you know? this is the, They're called to do purpose together, okay? And so guess what? You're, you're, he's the, his soul is following yours, right? Because your healing work is being done, okay? And then um, and then they're following that, right? Because but this is your journey, so you have to do what God is telling you. Even if it's walking away, and this person's still dealing with, you know, uh, maybe the person's still in relationships, or they're, you know, uh, that are teaching him stuff. You know what I mean? Or he's trying to get out of that. You know what I mean? Like and and you know that's where you have to walk away, even though the God, the Lord told you, you know. And spoke that over your life, you still have to do your journey and your healing. You you can't stop for that. And then as you're doing it though, and you keep walking forward in your relationship, this person souls get healed too as well. Get you know what I'm saying? You're actually leading the way of that spouse. You know what I mean? And um, it's so beautiful. You know how he showed me. You know, and it's like, and this is the right and correct way. You know what I mean? And this is where he's allowed me to walk in this journey so I can help others. You know what I mean? And show this. You know, and I had to walk through it. You know what I mean? And so I could help teach others. And so, 
Anyways, and it's just so beautiful. And then eventually, you know, when it's time and divine timing, you know what I mean? God's timing. You guys are like this, you know what I mean? Like, and he's like, okay, you're both aligned. Now you guys are here. You're, you're, you got all your stuff, you know, what I called you to do in your singleness, right? And, and then you are called what you do in your singleness and your healing and all that stuff with your relationship with the Lord, right? And now I need you guys to come together to produce even more. Okay, for the kingdom of God, okay? And and you're both aligned, you're both in this, and it just builds and you now you have like an empire because you have all this and he has all this, and you're like <laughs> you're shooting out bullets for the kingdom of heaven. And this is where the enemy attacks, you know what I mean? Like and, and jealousy and the and jealousy spirits and all that on, you know, um your kingdom marriage, you know, or your I call it kingdom marriage because it means you're going higher to teach and help others, do you know what I mean? And your purpose. And um it's just like uh 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 you know this is where the relationship comes in you, when you're doing the work, okay? Because then he teaches you how to fight that. And and all those lies and other things that you come against you and your spouse, you know what I mean? Or even your, your marriage, right? You already have this healing in relationship. But nothing can come against it. All the lies been healed. All the wounds been touched, right? So now you come in this relationship and stuff like that. And the enemy tries to attack you. You're like, nah. It doesn't please you, right? Because you have this relationship and you've gotten the healing you needed and you did the work, you know what I mean? And so, and maybe you're already married. It, you could still, you're still into this relationship, okay? And now God opened you spiritually, opened him. Now you're in this, still in this marriage. And now he's just transforming your marriage. I have a friend that, you know, I talked to her and he's, you know, uh, we talk a lot about how now, you know, things in their lives are changing now and the spirits are awakening both of them and God's working on their married, but now they're transforming and they're in this marriage. Okay. And now her going to her relationship and him go and God dealing with him and her praying, right? They're both in this relationship on their own. Okay. And, and there's, they're married. And so now guess what? This is where the many, they're changing. They're already married, but there's changing. Okay. Cause they came from this, you know, marriage that was toxic, right? Or there wasn't going, you know, God allowed it because he wants to heal this marriages, right? He doesn't want them, you know what I mean? This, that's uh, on their life. Um, so now he'll activate, you know what I mean? Awaken the spirits, you know what I mean? Like, or something will happen, you know, and awaken this person's spirit and awaken this person's spirit where they're in marriage. And now guess what? They're in a relationship, but guess what? They're changing. You know what I mean? Because they're surrendered to God's will. They're picking up their cross and denying themselves. God's teaching them that, you know, in this marriage, okay? And the, and they're still married, you know what I mean? But now they're transforming to both of them to being a servant to each other. You know what I mean? Because we're called to serve in a relationship with the Lord, which just teaches us to go into a healthy relationship, to know how to serve your spouse, okay? And so... Again, so much benefits to this relationship. And he's, he's caught me as the, the, the Lord leads me in to, to teach about. And so, uh, yeah, so you become whole, this person, and because we're supposed to serve God. That's the whole relationship. It's just you and God. And when you learn how to be a servant to God and be obedient, you know, and do what he calls you to do in your singleness, then that's when he's like, okay, now I need you to come along with this person and produce even more stuff, okay? Or you guys are, you once this, you marriage, and it was like going nowhere and toxic, right? So now you're both activated and you're in this marriage and you're like, okay, something happened and God's transforming in this marriage. And guess what? You're going to produce more, you're going to look back and you, both of you in the marriages and you're going to see how fire it is. You know what I mean? And now you're both are doing this work, right? And you're still in marriage, but the enemy is trying to knock it down and kill it. Right. But now when you enter this relationship in this marriage and sign up, both of you, okay, you are entering into contact with Jesus in relationship and saying, Lord, I'm going to, I'm going to do this work. And then your husband at the same time has to come in agreement. So I mean, and he's going to do his own work. Right. And you're going to even produce more beautiful things in your marriage. Okay. You're going to start seeing those wounds and stuff like that before he'll, you know, God's going to mend that marriage. He's going to make it on fire. Even already have a good marriage. It's going to make it even more fire and, and purpose. You know what I mean? Like maybe you're just living in your marriage, right? But you don't have that purpose yet. You know what I mean? And he's going to show you that purpose. Okay. As you activate, as you both go into this, you know, relationships with a lot of people that were in the world and partying, right? And then they go, look, you know what? The Lord led me, both of us, you know, then it's going to be activated in this relationship and you're going to go on your healing journey and you're going to get to share this. See this, you're already married though. So you're going to be able to, you know, go on this healing and both of you are going to keep coming together, right? And you're like, both are like this, or maybe oh, you're both like this, right? You're still married though. But this is where the, the, the relationship, when you're in the marriage part already and you just come from, you know, about to get divorced or whatever and God activates that and say, no, I don't want this to divorce. I want you guys to come in a relationship, both of you, and, and to get healing, and I'm going to show you what I could do. And guess what? As you both are in your own relationship with the Lord and each of you are healing your wounds guess what's happening 
Look at you guys are eventually aligning with each other, okay? And God and his will for your life. And now your unit has been transformed. And in marriage, in marriage testimonies, you're married, right? Now you're going to be able to help others in that. Uh, uh, that healing, right, that you went through and how you came aligned. And this is real authentic, not fake. And you're not coming to church and saying, oh, my marriage is so good. This is where the relationship comes in. And he teaches you that and to humble yourself and be authentic and real. You know what I mean? So, Because people need authentic and realness. You know what I mean? And go to them in the marriage and be able to say, hey, this is what we struggle with. And then not portray their marriage to be perfect. This is, that's a whole other story to talk about people that are married and to per se, they have this like war against, oh, my marriage is more apparent than yours. And my, you know, I trust me. I'm telling you, it's Christ that lives in me. He wants me to teach a lot about this. You know what I mean? Like, and it's not me. It's Christ that lives in me that's giving me, he knows all that stuff. You know, he's the healer. You know what I mean? And so it is so cool, you guys. It's so so much, so much. I'm like, Lord, calm down. Cause I have a, you know, I'm like, you know, slowly. Okay. So anyways, I just want to share this. I know it's a long word, but I think it'll bless a lot of people. And I just want to say, God bless you. And, um, in your walk and your journey. And again, thank you. And I do, um, don't believe in like sewing. I do believe like in sewing. Yes. You know, and if you feel led or, um, any in your spirit to bless and so into me, and I, this is, I just started mine, you know, really, you know, starting the journey of, you know, producing this, you know, um, feel free to, you know, um, uh, uh, I don't believe in like, hey, you know, this is what God give me to give to people, you know, and people feel led and fed from this. I would love for them to sew. I mean, whatever way they feel, you know what I mean? Like, because I need sewing, you know what I mean? Like as well, you know, and, um, I, you know, that was part of my journey of always, you know, I know it was my journey of becoming like Christ and Christ doesn't need help, right? But like, I need to be fed into and I, and I want to, you know, be able to feel like I'm blessing people as well, you know, and, oh, uh, this is, sorry. And my whole passion in life and this stuff is to actually help people, you know, and this is a, a little girl, God's destiny for this, you know, and I went through a lot of pain and, and now I'm just starting to walk into my, my blessings and my healing in my life that I did and the work I did. And, and so, like I said, I just share these, like, I want to help a lot of people and, um, and, yeah, just share my love and my passion, my authenticity, and how real I am and how real we all are and how to break free from all this toxic stuff the enemy wants to. And this is why I was attacked so hard because look at all this information. And like, this is beautiful. You know what I mean? Like, and it just keeps growing and growing and growing. And I'm just getting like, whoa, you know? And and the enemy doesn't want me to share this. You know what I mean? He doesn't want people to be blessed by this. He doesn't want people to know this because he wants to kill, still and destroy. Okay? And uh, anyways, it's so much, but... Yes. Um, anyways, I just want to say God bless you guys, those that do watch the videos and are fed by it. I love you guys. I remember, I know a lot of people has hurt me, but like I said, I love people. I love everybody. You know, when Christ lives in you, even those that do you wrong, that you love people, you know what I mean? Like, and I, yes, the righteous part of Christ that comes out of me is because people are refusing to bow down to Christ and do this evil. And that's where God's like, he... Is a righteous God too, and he doesn't like that. And that's why he doesn't like to just, but he will do it. I mean, from sicknesses to, I mean, this is what happens in life, right? Because God's people, that's a whole other story I want to share about God and hit that side of him where he has to, you know, it hurts him. Okay. But if they don't come in alignment and repent, you know what I mean? Look it, you know, you know, you, and so, anyways, and you don't want that for people. No one wishes that, you know what I mean? But like, again, my life is valuable too, okay? And I, I'm choosing to do the work, okay? And so when they, and they're, and then someone else is not choosing to do the work and uh, repent and stuff like that, God has to lay the line down and say, hey, not this one. No, this person's choosing to do the work. No matter how much the enemy comes against her, she's choosing to get up and pick up that cross. You're not going to touch her. And if you do, this is what's going to happen. Get what I'm saying? So if he still loves that person, but they're refusing to come in agreement with God. That's why he disciplines them. And it's ugly and it's not pretty and you don't want that. You know what I mean? And so anyways, God bless you guys. Have a good night. And I hope this feeds your soul. Um, again, I'm a preacher. I'm a leader. I, you know, and I'm just a humble person that come from nothing. That this is the journey that God has chosen for her life. And I, I uh, embrace it. You know what I mean? Like, and I know the enemy comes against me because of everything I'm called to do. You know what I mean? And it's just part of my journey. And but it's just the maturing and everything in my spirit and what he's done in my life, you guys, is just, I need to, you know, he's called me to share this, you know, and this is what we're all on the journey of our own journeys in our life, you know, and, um, 
yeah, and I'm just called, and I'm just the person that goes in the fields and, and works those fields. And I'm like, really, Lord? And the Lord's like, no, you're going to go to the, the last will be uh, first and the first will be last, you know? And I, I, I just like some of the, us that are leaders and some of that are always wanting to be out there and not, you know, in the front center. And, you know, that's why he's like pushing. He uses those that were at the, you know, bottom, you know what I mean? Like and came from that, you know, cause he saw that. So he could produce this, you know what I mean? It's beautiful. You know what I mean? Like, and you know, that's what he's called in your life and you just got to be obedient to it, you know? And, um, he's just taught me really well how to be like him. You know what I mean? Like humbly loved. And I'm just sitting here doing trash and I'm sharing parables, you guys. And, um, I'm just laughing out there in the world and I'm just sitting here like, it just, oh, it just reminds me of the story of the Ruth, you know and I mean? How she's just gleaning and just, you know, humble and like, and it's just, my name is Naomi Ruth. You know, this purpose. I was a prophesied over my mom before she even had me, you know. And this lady, elderly lady prophesied that she was going to have a baby and she's going to name her Naomi Ruth. And here I am in my purpose. And it's just crazy, you know. And I'm sitting here living this, you know. And so I just feel so humble in life, you know. And that's where we get pride and that's where God has to break us down. And 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 all along my journey, he just keeps me humble. You know, even if I'm growing, I'm still humble. You know what I mean? Like, even if I have all this wisdom, he's he's blessing me with this and this and you know whatever it is he wants to give me. You know, whatever he desires for me to have. You know, um, I'm just still humble. You know, I'm still. You know, maybe he's blessing me with a lot of money. You know, so one day soon. You know what I mean? Like soon. <laughs> and but I'm just this person still going to work and I'm still doing this. You know what I mean? Like because I just want to be out there with people. I want to help them. I want to learn. I keep learning. You know what I mean? And I want to be walking a alongside these people no matter you know if i'm a really pop leader or whatever i want to walk alongside you know these people this is where the hearts are you know just like jesus did he wants to hear them he wants to love them he wants to you know speak into their lives and 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 everything he's done to me i want to speak and i want to see their face light up anyways and so uh I, and um ugh, this video is so this guy that I brought in the middle, I put the video on here, the old testimony about him. And the next day he kept telling me he was so excited, right? I mean, this is talking about the love of Christ going out in this world and just getting people hope and excitement. This guy, next day, was like his girlfriend, right? Because they're sleeping in the car, you know? And um, anyways, of course, they know their habits and stuff like that and what's preventing them from that, of course. But it just, he was so excited. He was like, no, I don't need I don't need my can of uh, beef stew. He was telling me he was joking with everybody that day because this girl's going to bring me a big old hot meal. And he was so excited just to have that meal. And it just, I was like, my tears were coming down my face. You know, see, it's just like that heart, you know what I mean? The heart of Christ, you know, it's not going out there and playing people's sin. And you know, it's the way you love people and walk alongside them and how you love them is what changes people. And, and that's what makes them want to come towards Christ. Okay. And have this beautiful relationship with him. And, um, and that's where we have to come in to do the work in our own life. So you could activate your spirit and God could come alive in you and you could, you know, do what he's called you to do in your purpose, you know? And so, um, and just do it powerfully, you know what I mean? And do it the best because God's children do it the best okay be best and i love you guys i know this is long but uh i promise these words are gonna get powerful and more powerful they're gonna feed you and so those that do listen and take the time out to 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 invest in me and hear these words um i'm so thankful and watching me continue growing uh i'm so thankful for everybody that comes along this journey and I'm just thankful for where God has brung me in my life, you guys. And you guys are going to be blessed. And this is what I wanted to do the work for so I can bless people. So I can bless others and through this pain and stuff that I endured and, and, and keeping at it through the whole journey, right? So I could show people, you know, and um, help them in their walk and have hands on, not just preach, open a word and preach it. I actually walking through this and it's, it's been a hard journey, you guys, for my life, but it's been rewarding. It's been so rewarding. He's so alive in me. I feel so blessed and protected too, you know, because of course of my journey, he's has to protect his loved one and his chosen, you know, children and I'm just thankful, you know, yes, I did. he chose this for my life, you guys, and I'm very blessed and thankful, but it's not easy, a lot of children go through a lot, you know what I mean, and um, that's where you get to know, I, another video, you get to know people, and because 
I've endured so much in my life in pain and and no you know I don't there's moments that I like no one's come to apologize me or no one you know how them because I but see this is where I know that they're pain you know what I mean and I know that's not who they truly are get what I'm saying and so but um and it's just like Christ the crucifixion you know what I mean it's not easy to be crucified and you just want to love people and help them and they're just like crucifying you because they want to be that way you know what I mean because they want to change because and they can change they can have this okay and they feel like it's too late for my life I'm, or I'm this age or whatever it is that's going on the enemy's telling them lies about it's never too late to come into a relation with God and reveal your true purpose okay never never even those that do evil to that God turns it around for his glory. And now they go in this relationship and then they use that. And they have a powerful, you know what I mean, testimony. So God bless you guys. I know this is long, but again, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I love you guys. I love everybody that's going to come along this journey as it, it keeps growing. And as Christ keeps even activating more and more and more. I'm telling you, you guys are going to see even more growth and more change. And you guys are going to see the power and the work of this relationship and what it does actually in my life you know and and, and you will that will do in your life at, when you really have a deep relationship with him so god bless you have a great night guys love you bye till next time